Hey y'all, good morning. This is Finn Graves, and today I wanted to show you a little bit of how I do my lining work for my illustrations. This is a tree illustration I'm working on for my buddy, Haley, who owns Rain and Shine. Her and Melinda do that. And I'm going to be putting this up in her shop in a while. So I'm trying to get it finished because I was going to get it done in March, but, you know, when you're on your own deadline, sometimes things are a little bit slower. As well as most of these illustrations that I do take me about a week and a half longer than I think that they're going to. Because do you see the detail of the work that I'm having to do? Like each of those leaves are individually sketched in. And so this specific illustration is um, one of the five elements of Chinese medicine. This one is for wood, which is governed by your liver and your gallbladder. And it's the spring element, which I think is perfect for right now. You know, like working on it right now seemed really good. Everything around us seems green right now. And I'm finding growth and movement and that deep desire to be outside. And I think everyone is feeling like that. And so I think that that's really cool and interesting that when I'm doing my art, it comes out about the same way. You know, like it comes out at about the same time. So when it's spring, spring stuff comes out. So I always liked that. And so here's a quick little shot of all the work that I finished. I took a picture for you guys. And here's the whole piece that I'm working on right now. And I really like it. Like, you'd have to turn it around. See? There it is. I used as a reference point a little bonsai tree that I found online. I just googled bonsai tree. And this cute little tree with all of these bulgy gnarls and bits that I'm lining right now came up and it's just like I, I have a tendency towards those trees you know the trees with these little bumps and whirls and I don't know I, I feel like I have a tendency towards those kind of humans too you know like humans that have scars and actual stories and who like to live their lives and each of these trees to me I know that they look like nature stuff to people but trees are always portrait drawings for me as an artist and I know that a lot of different people don't feel that way I mean when you draw a tree it's a tree but for me they have so much character um I did a, a wedding vow illustration for my buddies Nathan and Jessica and I did their trees and they were two trees that were interspersed and intertwined and I loved that because that was one of those moments where I was just like this is absolutely, absolutely what my trees are, is they're creatures. They're holding each other in this moment. And so that was a lot of fun. That was a great commission that I got to do, and I had a blast doing. And so here I am at the bottom lining the limbs of the trees. And if you notice, because I've been noticing lately, my tree limbs look a lot like my octopuses. So I think very much those same shapes are coming out. And I realized I was doing... Um, I was doing jellyfish recently that also look like my trees. So that was strange. And I always feel like my art is telling me something and speaking to me in some way. And I don't always know what it's saying until a few years later. So one of the reasons that I'm filming myself doing this stuff is to see what my art is telling me in case it's speaking to me in a different manner. I don't know. Um, what do you hear? I'm curious as to what other people hear when they see me working on my art or when they see my pieces. So... Yeah, we're almost getting to the end of what I show you guys, and if I had a tripod, this would be so much easier. Things take money, right? Isn't that interesting? And I always I always use my money for, like, food and art supplies, and a tripod can be expensive. But, anyways, these are my practice videos for showing you how I do my process, because that's really what my buddy um, Ruan wanted to see, and so here's another one of those. Thanks for watching. This is Finn Graves. Um, my video blog is An Artful Life. Click follow, and I'd love to see you next week. I love showing you my work. Thanks again.